Hello Thirdless people, today we're going to be creating some nice brushes um, that you can use in order for you to save some time on your illustrations. Well, first of all, um, scan your um, the lines that you draw at 600 dpi on a, on a grayscale document. Um, you can do a cross hatch, you can do verticals, diagonals, whatever. Uh, but for for now, uh, and for this example, we're gonna be using these diagonal uh, lines that I draw on a piece of paper with ink. Well, copy that selection, then create a new document um, that's gonna be a thousand by a thousand uh, pixels and 300 dpi on a grayscale document. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna paste that lines and don't worry about this just scale it up there you go and then we're gonna adjust the curves the object of this is to actually get rid get rid of uh, a lot of the details and we're gonna uh, end up with a nice black and white uh, uh, with black and white lines after that, if you uh, want it to be perfect, you can erase some of the imperfections that you can find on your on your lines. I mean, you can you can leave it uh, the way it is, but uh, if you're very perfectionist, then you can do this. Then we go to Edit, Define Brush Preset, and we're gonna name this new uh, brush. We're gonna call it Detail Lines. The name is up to you, of course. Now, we're gonna create a new, a new document in order for you to show what we just did. <laughs> the brush is gonna be at the bottom of the, of the brush, brush palette. And as you can see, we can start using the brush that um, we just created. This can work, but as you can see, it's it's not very useful since uh, it's only going in one direction. What we need to do to change this is go to the brush settings. We we click on shape dynamics and scatterings, and then you can copy these uh, values. You can change the angle jitter. jitter um, and you can change the scattering of the uh, of the brush. The scattering the scattering is basically how far is is one brush from from another, as I'm showing you now. But for my illustrations, I I put the value on zero actually, and then we're gonna save this new brush with a new name, Crosshatch. Now, as you can see, we have a very nice and very organic brush that looks pretty much like the real thing. So you don't have to worry to, to, um, to be hours and hours doing Crosshatch cross uh, work. Now I have a, a very simple thing that I just did before and I'm going to show you creating a new layer in which we're going to put the, um, the cross hatch lines. Uh, we're going to first of all select the area that we, that we want to detail. Then we're going to expand that selection and on a la layer, a new layer, we are going to be, we're going to start putting the details with our new brush. Of course, for this example, this is not going to be perfect, but uh, you can adjust minor details of the brush, uh, you can change the rotation, you can change the size, whatever, in order for, for your design to be perfect. I'm just giving you a, a basic idea that you can start with. And with the eraser, then 
the eraser, the nice thing is that you can adjust, uh, you can make it more organic uh, and so it looks like it, like it was um, made by uh, real pen and ink. We're gonna put uh, a little bit more of detail here. There you go. I'm doing this in a very random way, so um, don't pay too, too much attention to it. Now the nice thing in in putting all, all the lines in that layer is that we can apply color overlay and we can change the color um, of those details and we don't have to worry uh, that much if we if if we want to uh, send that uh, design uh, to the printers. So it's a very it's a very simple way to do it. Now I'm creating a, a, a new layer and I'm going to paint it the old way. So you can see you can, um, you can create very easily uh, and in a very fast way some nice details on your, on your designs. I hope this new tutorial was very helpful, helpful for you. Uh, and I'll be creating a new one, I think, next week. See you around.